I'm Cherry Kubota. I'm a plant physiologist with the University of Arizona at the Controlled Environment Agriculture Center in Tucson. My strawberry project is to introduce strawberry crop into Arizona. The reason we are doing this since um, 2009 is we are aware of the low quality of strawberry available in grocery stores. American strawberries are looking nice. Cosmetic quality is very high, even in grocery stores, you know, after so many days of post-harvest shipping. Um, however, the flavor tasting quality is very low. And if you talk to anyone who is traveling a lot or who is from different culture, different countries, particularly in Europe and Asia, they know how strawberry should taste. Well, I have eaten strawberries grown in a greenhouse in the winter in Japan. And first, they looked beautiful. I mean, they were just so beautiful. I couldn't believe that they were going to taste good, but they did. They tasted really good. And one of the reasons that they do is that they're bred for that specific production. And they're not bred for shelf life or shipping or things like that. So the fact that they are created to perform well under the circumstances is the reason, one reason that they um, look so good and taste so good. That in addition to the skill of the growers who have been doing it for so no, long. No, few people know that Phoenix, Arizona was a leader in growing strawberries. Starting during the territorial days up until 1960, they had strawberries that were for export. But you know what happened? Urbanization happened in Phoenix, and we started losing land because that was the best land to build houses on, easiest to make the foundations, easiest to make the roads, and that shifted that strawberry production over to the coast of California. Initially, we thought we are introducing new crop in Arizona. But what we discovered recently was that we had strawberry production a long time ago. The first thing we saw was produce crate label, and that was out of 1943. And then I started looking for more information, how much strawberry production, where the strawberry production, what is the reputation, reputation of strawberry produced in Arizona. So to my surprise, the oldest record I found was 1890. And there was a variety called Arizona Eba Bearing, which was bred in uh, Phoenix area. And one time it was so popular and even introduced in California nurseries and nurseries in California, you know, propagating and producing those plants to distribute. Right, I've, I've been in California in, in, a, in a berry field and the clamshell that was just pulled off the pallet that was going to be shipped and, and the berries tasted pretty good. But that berry is going to be stuck on a pallet, stuck on a truck, shipped to a grocery store, left in the store until somebody buys it. And after that amount of time, that the quality of that, that fruit starts to degrade a little bit. And so the flavor's gone. Doing hydroponics, Strawberry production doesn't require that much of water, so you can save the water. Another thing is you don't have to fumigate or you don't have to sterilize the soil. And also it's protected, therefore, you know, you can reduce or eliminate completely the pesticide. And also it's a raised trough, so workers don't need to bend over to the crop. So the controlled environment, you can control the temperature and humidity to the level strawberry-like, you can produce uh, strawberries in winter. So Arizona is a great place for winter production. So as long as you have system, you can produce very nice, high-quality strawberries. What we're looking to do here is look at berries picked very ripe, with very good flavor, and don't worry about the shelf life because they're going to be sold that night or consumed that night or the very next day. So that's uh, one thing that we're looking to do in this system. Yeah. So the goal of my project is we introduce strawberry production in Arizona in a much more sustainable way so that it would last longer than we had experienced, you know, long time ago. It disappeared once because of the, you know, the not sustainable manners. This is going to be more sustainable. Also, we have opportunities right now because people appreciate local production, local consumption. You know, fresh strawberry produced in the morning will be available in the market or in the restaurant or in the confectionery stores. So that is what I want to see in the future.
Controlled Environment Agriculture Center at the University of Arizona. <laughs>